what I want to discuss first, then, are the relics from the first fraction of a second. Actually, um, this is 10 to the minus 36th of a second, but that's when the inflation occurred, this great expansion because of this energy release that led to the size of the universe, the universe being as big as it is today. So why are we so confident that um, this is what happened? Well, the fossil that's left behind from this early, really hot phase of the universe there's a fossil radiation field, and we call that the cosmic microwave background because it goes so, it, its wavelengths got so highly stretched, it was expanded, that we now see it in microwaves, radio waves. But at the beginning, it was incredibly hot. Of course, we're not there, but we infer that was the case because we've measured the expansion of the universe. So what does this fossil radiation look like? Well, this is what it looks like. Um, um, so this is the sky, um, and this is what we call the cosmic microwave background. And remember, um, in my first lecture, I told you how it represents its distribution of frequencies in this radiation, its microwave radiation, that is like a perfect black body. It's, it can only have been formed in a furnace, and that furnace was the first, the first weeks, the first months of the, of the Big Bang, okay, the beginning of the universe. However, so in some sense, when we look at this, and you can actually, if you turn your... TV on to in between channels, you see noise on the TV. 1% of that noise is this microwave radiation that surrounds from the Big Bang. So basically, you're looking at the first basically weeks of the universe, but it's actually more powerful than that because when we began looking at this radiation much more precisely, we, this was what was discovered that at the level of a few parts in a million, there are tiny fluctuations. So in this picture, I've subtracted away this uniform field, okay? And we're looking for the tiny, tiny differences in temperature from spot to spot on the sky, okay? And these are um, on the order of a few parts in a million, and these are, there are slightly um, warmer regions, slightly colder regions. And these represent the fossil fluctuations from which um, all the galaxies uh, that we see today, everything formed the ripples in space and time that create, led to structure as things, the denser bits got denser as time went on and formed the galaxies and all that stuff. Okay, so that's, that's, that, that's, this is the key to almost all we know about the very, very early stage of the universe. But what is sort of amazing about this picture is that to understand the origin of these fluctuations, um, you have to go back to a time which is very close to this, you know, beginning of the universe at a fraction of a second after the Big Bang. Because only then, during this inflation stage, when the quantum theory was very important, could these fluctuations have been created. There simply hasn't been time to make them ever since. And so this basically is a glimpse. The, the fact that these fluctuations exist is essentially proof that we have a theory of the universe which takes us back to this tiny fraction of a second after the Big Bang.